from the station that's on your side. This is Channel 7 News Daybreak. Welcome back, everybody. The time now is 623. New cholesterol-lowering drugs are estimated to cost $14,000 a year for a person. Yes, you heard that right, 14000 It's all part of a new study by the Journal of the American Medical Association, and that's why we brought in Baptist Health doctor, cardiologist Scott Davis here this morning to help us explain how something like this, yeah. medicine, you know, right. for something that a lot of people are affected by, Scott, could Absolutely. cost so much. Right, so before you get your checkbook out, yeah. let's talk about this. So there's an article that came out in JAMA, right, the Journal of the American Medical Association, okay. that looked at cost. And we're always talking about costs of medicines, but these new PCSK9 inhibitors, these new injectable anti-cholesterol medications that have just come out in the market for those that either can't tolerate statins, can't tolerate their cholesterol, their oral cholesterol medicines, or have this really uh, bad genetic hand as far as, you know, familial hyperlipidemia. In other words, they got a really, really high genetically uh, uh, affected cholesterol level, need these medicines. Well, the retail price for these medicines is at like $14,000 a year. Now, there, there are ongoing negotiations with pharmaceutical companies like Cigna has worked deals, so they get, you know, discounted purchasing, but it, it, it caused then pause for an editorial to say, look, let's look at cost again, because the difference between like these medications and say like a, um, a liver, you know, a cirrhosis medication that you might just take for 12 weeks, these can be for a lifetime, right? Yeah, right. And yeah. so they can cost, they, they start, and so it, it, again, it's another effort to come back and look at cost of medications as far as application. Now, to flip side of the coin is there's 30 percent of folks that need cholesterol medicine that are probably not taking it and you could have a two three billion dollar impact on reduction in heart attack and stroke if you do now before we start getting ourselves worked up into a lather about cost we still need to know what the actual benefit is of these medicines as far as mortality so these medicines are brand new we're still working through understanding how they're going to impact long term but Stay tuned, because there's more to come. Yeah, because that certainly makes people's ears perk up when they hear, I mean, some, some folks making that just in a year. Oh, so, absolutely. So that, that is something to where it can be concerning if you need that medication and that kind of right. money is necessary. And, and, and then understand, too, there are programs that are, you know, that, that Amgen has that makes one of the medications, or Sanofi that does another, there, there are patient assist programs if your doctor thinks you need this. Okay. So, I mean, there, there are ways around this. But, again, it, the, the reason for the article is to cause this kind of dialogue so we can kind of start looking again at the cost piece and the cost effectiveness piece. Okay, some important things to remember this right. morning from Dr. Scott Davis. So hopefully you can talk to your doctor about right. that and uh, get it all squared away. There is the information for the Baptist Health Healthline. It is baptist-health.com or call the number on your screen. Dr. Davis, always good to see you. Buddy. Have a great we'll week, see you next man. time. Yep.